Hey YouTube, finally getting this Dyna looking the way I want, uh, but I'm running into a question on installing a sissy bar. So this is an 09 Super Glide Custom. Had a lot of stuff done. I removed speakers and had some bars and Avon grips installed and put a seat on and there was some more heavy duty stuff that the transmission needed. But anyway, I've seen videos to install bars like these on a Sportster and on a Softail, and I've seen people putting the quick release sissy bars on Dynas, but I have not seen somebody who has this configuration that I can't find anywhere on YouTube, which is a bar like this on a Dyna, like a T45 up here, and then from the inside coming out, like a half inch, I think a half inch hex. I guess what I understand is uh, I gotta lift the bike to get better access to taking the bolts out and I gotta probably unplug the wires for these rear signals from the hub and get those out of the way just to make it easier uh, to put this thing on. But when I mock this thing up on top of here, the width seems just right so that it would basically fit on the width of the existing configuration here. The bolts that are in here already and the hardware that was sent looks pretty similar. So yeah, that's my first sort of thing I'm unsure about is, can I just use the existing bolts once I get this whole thing taken off? And the second thing is, I really don't wanna to have to remount these signals. I like the stock mounts and the instructions that came with it, which are very brief. I can't tell if what they're telling me is, you have to remount it with these new brackets or that there is a way, whether it's with the new hard, new bolts or the existing ones that they work, there is a way to keep these existing mounts and have those rear points right there anchored down with the hardware and still with bolts still long enough to reach and grab onto this mount and keep that torque down to where it needs to be. Uh, if anyone has any advice can tell me what they've run into with that. Much appreciated.